Yeah, um, actually I'm here. My name is Annie. Um, I used to be called Yemukosha, but I've adopted another name, Bland. Um, I came in this country in 2004. Um, when we heard about um, senior carer in the UK, a few friends of ours, they came here and we were thinking, hmm, going to the UK, how possible is it going to the UK? Uh, the, the first thing that came into our minds uh, was brothels. We were thinking, oh God, you're going to the UK and you might end up in the brothel. <laughs> so until one of our first friends, uh, Jemima, she came here in 2000. Could you put your hand up, Jemima, please? She came here in 2000. And when she came back two years later, she said, oh, it's real, it's real. You guys, come on, get on, you know, you, you, get, you get connected to job connections. So that's how we started raising money, you know, that time in Zambia, the economy went really, really bad. And we were just thinking, wherever we go with our children, we are going. So that's how I heard about the job connections. And uh, we were interviewed by, at uh, that time, Fra uh, Frank was there. And Dodwell was there as well, but you didn't interview me, Dodwell. But <laughs> <laughs> But I did warn you tonight, I said, don't well, afterwards, you know, driving home, when we finished the interviews, I said, don't well, if you don't pick me, I'll see you at Heathrow. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I'll play Juju, I'm sure don't well, I didn't remember that. But I reminded him, I said, oh, you've got good memory, anyway. So when we came in this country in 2004, um, as senior carers, I'm one of the proud senior carers and I just want to say how much I've excelled in this country. Um, when we came in this country in 2004, uh, we arrived in uh, Chippenhawton, the famous Chippenhawton. It was a very, very difficult time. At uh, that time we missed our shima. We wanted to eat something, we were going for dinner and all we ate was sandwiches. <laughs> So these sandwiches were not filling up our tummies. We were used to the shimas. So a few girls, we had to go in the village to see where we can see if we can get something similar to the shima. But we couldn't get anywhere. But I can't remember the name of the, one of the first ladies who came in this country. She invited us to our house and she cooked a huge shima. That shima finished I think within 15 minutes. <laughs> so it was really, really, really nice to see this lady cooking the shima. We were four weeks in the UK and it was just lovely to have something to eat from home. So when we were departed to our um, designated areas, I was um, taken to um, Hilton Park, was my first um, uh, uh, home to work for. And when we went there, we met um, my favorite boss, I always call her my favorite boss. She's called, um, I think you know Pauline Hunchen. And um, she, she, she actually uh, took us through this cultural shock, you know, uh, when we came to the UK, we were talking about things and she, she said about the, the gay people and they say, you have to respect every culture, you have to respect everybody's decisions and, you know, choices. So when she mentioned about this, we are all gobsmacked. We're thinking, oh no, you can't do that. I said, oh, this is England for you. So those were the little, little things that we were you know, encountering in terms of cultural shock. So coming to the um, working as a carer, we came here with a view of excelling, really. Uh, we thought we're not going to carry on working as a carer, because when we worked in Zambia, we worked as an enrolled nurses. And when you work as an enrolled nurse, we were really, really hands-on. Uh, I think my friends would, would, would agree with me. So the first thing we did, we had to go to the college to ask the entry qualifications. And they said to us, no, 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 you can't come to the college now or to the university. You have to be in the country for three years. Oh, God, that was there, that would go. So we carried on working for three years. And after three weeks, we went back to the college to ask for the entry qualifications. And what they said to us was that um, since you've been away from school for a long, long time, we would want you to go back and do your maths and English. Oh, God, uh, maths and English again. So we said, okay, fine. 
And of course, we thought nursing is very, very dynamic. We went back to the college, did maths and English all levels. Oh no, you have to go and do study skills. Academic writing, what's academic writing? You know, it's, it was a bit of French. <laughs> so we went back to the college and we did the academic writing. Uh, we did maths and English. And we did, um, uh, what was the other one? Um, ex access to nurses. And we went for the interviews, we were interviewed, and uh, I was enrolled at um, University of Hull. And when I went there, they said there's a degree program and there's a diploma program. So I said, how will it help me in terms of finance? Because I love to work as well as go to the university. So they said, it will be cheaper for you to do uh, a diploma. Because if you get a degree, you will have to get a loan, and the amount is very, very minimal. So we were in a dilemma. So we're thinking, okay, how are we going to work this out? And then we decided to go for a degree. Of course, you want to have a good degree course, and you know you want to feel high and in, in, in education and things. So we said, okay, fair enough. It was not easy. It was not easy. It was very, very hard. Very, very hard because we had to go to the university, after you finish your university, you go and do um, night, night caring or night sitting or looking after the pie. I, I personally I looked after palliative, you know, people you know, dying from cancer. So from university, four o'clock you finish, you go and have a wash, cook for the, for the family, off you go for another shift. And that took three years and that was not easy. But I'm very, very proud to say that I've attended my um, degree in nursing, that is uh, general nursing, and uh, I've been uh, still been employed by Barchester, of course in different homes. And uh, I must uh, say to you all that I'm very proud to myself because now the Barchester have also enrolled me for um, diploma in dementia, and I'm going to do also leadership in management. Um, because they have offered me uh, a post to, uh, to, to, to run the unit. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be a unit manager starting from November uh, um, this year. Thank you, thank you. So it has been really, really a, a very, very, very um, a rough uh, journey. I've had three children. My firstborn daughter, she's 25. She, she was supposed to be with me, but she's, she's working today. And I've got a, a son, and um, I've got two sons, are not I? Two sons. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, well, my children, they have really, really done very well. Um, my daughter, she's now a master in biomed, uh, working for, for the NHS in Pina. And uh, my second born son, is now going for the um, School of Art at uh, uh, Cambridge University. And my last born son, he's just finished his joinery course, but he's a beggar boy, call him beggar boy, don't we? So he's still looking for a job, but you know, at the end of the day, it's a job. <laughs> so um, having said all that, I've met a very wonderful man. He's been there for us. He's, he's I mean, it's just been amazing, it's been wonderful. And you've seen us all through this. I mean, I must admit, there's been cultural crush in the house. <laughs> but there we go, who are we to say, you know, we're all human at the end of the day, but it's been wonderful. And I just want to say to you, thank you very much, Andy, for accepting us as we are. And uh, I just want to say thank you very much to Job Collections, Barchester, my, I, call, I call them Mother Barchester. Um, I did have uh, our boss, uh, the CEO, Pete, to see us at their home. And uh, of course, I can't go into details. Uh, we did have a few visitors and things. And um, they have known me. Each time they come, they'll ask, is that Annie? I said, yes. I said, how do you know me? He said, oh, we'll discuss later. But I am I'm a girl who doesn't do stress. Everybody will do stress at work, and if they're all stressed, they fall in sick, and I'll remain there, and I'll work throughout and throughout. And that's why they have seen the potential in me to say I can lead, because I didn't realize that I've got potential to lead a, a unit.
but I must say thank you very much for Baxter and Dog Collections for bringing us here. Thank you very much.